Hi you guys, welcome back. Today we're focusing on the lower ab region. This is a pretty intense workout, so expect to burn. We're gonna start by trying to find that region, right? Because sometimes we, we use our back or our butts or our hip flexors, and we wanna really start with some deep pelvic tilting to get your brain into the right area to use the right muscles. A note about hip flexors. If, as we progress through this workout, you're really feeling your hips, Make your range of motion a lot smaller. Feel free to modify with bent legs instead of straight legs. And you can always pause the video, shake out those hip flexors and come back in. This workout requires no equipment whatsoever. So all you need is a nice soft surface. And we're gonna start laying on our back here all the way down and start working into that pelvic tilt. So I'd like you to take your hands to your pelvis. And we're gonna inhale and arch your back just a little bit. Exhale, flatten your back and tip your pelvis towards your face. We'll do that a few times. Inhale, arch, exhale, tuck. And notice what's the first thing to grab. I don't want you to use your butt or your glutes, so as you tuck your pelvis under, try just to think about lengthening your tailbone. Down. And then a cue that works really well for me is thinking about arrows just going up the front of the body as if the pelvis was just directing its energy upwards. Okay, so a few more. Inhale, exhale, pull. Maybe taking a little bit less arch and a little deeper of a squeeze. Inhale, exhale, pull. We're gonna hold this last one. Inhale, exhale, lock it down. So hands on the floor. I want you to lift your right leg to table hop, top. and Don't move a muscle, lift your left leg. Drop the right toe, drop the left. Other leg leads left, right foot, left foot down right foot down, so we're alternating. Again, right foot up, left foot up, right foot down, left foot down, other side. Left, right, left, right. Now lift those legs up and we're just gonna stay. I want you to zip up those low abs and we're just gonna start a nice, smooth, little alternating toe drop. You can go slower, again, if you're feeling like, ooh, I'm having a hard time holding the low abs or if you're already feeling the hip flexors. What you're wanting to do is feel like your hip bones, there's a little tiny seat belt between your hip bones and it's actually getting a little tighter, closer together, striving to buckle. Okay, so I want you to take your left hand to your left thigh, zip up those abs again, and we're just gonna lift the right leg and drop it to the floor. Lift, toe drop, lift. So with your free hand, you can do a number of things. It can set down to the floor, but I like it to the belly, lift, Drop, now this hand that's on your knee, I want you to push into the thigh and then push into the hand with the opposite knee as we're just lifting and lower. Up and down a few more. Two, one. I want you to extend that working leg all the way up and we're gonna start to lower slowly and lift. Now push against that knee and push the knee against the hand as we lower and lift. We're just going super slow, down and up. You can hear the shake in my voice and up a little faster, just a few, down and up. Try to keep this pressure with the knee in the hand. It's gonna be a really good way to maintain that little tip back of your pelvis. Good, two more, down, up, one. Stay with that top leg, you're gonna pull it in for a nice little single leg stretch. Go nice and slow, switch sides. A little faster, pick up a little speed. Now you can leave your head, neck, and shoulders down on the floor, or you're welcome to curl up a little bit. Yes, you're gonna use your upper abs just a tad, but with the lift of the head, neck, and shoulders, we're also able to get a greater tilt of that pelvis. Just a few more here, we're gonna take that whole thing other side. Let's do three, two, one, release. So take a second, arch your back. Retuck that pelvis, lift the right leg up, hand to the knee, and up and down we go with that other leg. Lift and tap. The farther away from your body that you start tapping that toe, the heavier the leg is gonna feel and the greater the pull on the lower abdominals. Don't forget to push your hand into your knee and your knee into your hand. Maybe you're choosing to take that opposite hand to the belly to really self-correct. Good. A few more here and then we're gonna stretch that leg again. So really scoop through the pelvis. Two more. Good. Okay, so extend the leg, point the toe for extra credit. We're gonna go slow. Down, two, up, two. Push your hand into your knee and your knee in your hands. Up, 
for two. This is where the shake really comes into my voice because I'm really working hard to keep those lower abs engaged. Let's move a little faster. Keep the pressure between the knee and the palm up. This is a great time to modify if you're feeling too much hip flexor. Bend the knee again. Let's do three more. Three, two, one. Again, that top foot is gonna come in for a nice little single leg stretch. Stretch, let's speed it up a little bit. I'm gonna add the curl of the head, neck, and shoulders, but I'm really still focusing on the tilt backwards of the lower pelvis. Okay, keep going. We got a few more here. We're on our way up to the forearms next. So give me a nice big curl, roll up, whee, and then place your forearms down to the mat. A note here for form, just walk your elbows a little bit closer to your pelvis. It's gonna take some pressure out of your shoulders. We're back to the good old pelvic tilt. Here we go. Tilts and release. Things might feel a little bit different. For me, it's a lot easier to squeeze my butt and we don't want that. So you might find that as well. Try not to squeeze your butt. Again, tip the pelvis like it's a little bowl of cereal. Tip it, get all that milk and cereal out. Good, a few more. This is where you have to connect to your lower abdominals. Close your eyes, whatever it takes to find that. Now we're gonna lock it down, stay. So if you have to adjust your elbows, go ahead and do so. We're gonna point the toes and lift it off for two, and then set it down for two. So let's take a few slow and then we'll speed it up. I'm pushing my feet into the floor and watch my pelvis. I'm still taking that tilt. A few more slow and then we're gonna lose the spring through the feet. Ready? We're just gonna take a little toe tap. Up, down, up, down. Now think about your rib cage sliding down to the pelvis while you're tipping the pelvis towards your ribs. It's a great combo move for those low abs. Let's do a few more. Now stay up here, stay on your forearms, flex your feet. I want you to push out nice and slow and push out nice and slow. So we're taking a very slow bicycle here, nice and smooth, try not to arch your back. So if you're losing that, then you gotta keep your range of motion a lot smaller. Maybe don't extend the legs all the way. Keep going, let's speed it up a little bit, switch, switch. Now look down, tip your pelvis back towards your face, lock down, try to close and uh, fasten that little seat belt, imaginary seat belt between your hip bones. Last two, last one. Come all the way up. I'm starting to really feel my low abs. We're gonna roll back to the tailbone and find a little balance here. We're gonna take a little V crunch and we're gonna to start this supported. So we're gonna go open and close. Kind of similar to the last move. Take it open and close. Now here, obviously, I'm gonna to try to show this wrong. If you keep your back arched, this is not gonna work at all. So you really have to scoop through the belly. And then if you can, reach those arms forward. Let's speed it up a little bit. Legs out. Legs in. So I'm attempting to come all the way down to my, my upper, no, my lower ribs. Where are they? Lower ribs while I'm extending my legs. A few more. In to modify, take it smaller or take the hands behind the, the legs. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, one and roll it all the way down. Okay, hands are going underneath the hips for some reverse curls, but first we're gonna start, again, we have a theme here with the pelvic tilt. So legs up the wall, the imaginary wall, toes to the ceiling. I want you to arch your back, which is very hard in this position, and then tilt the pelvis. Little release, tilt. If you feel hip flexors or too much quad in this position, micro bend your knees. Oh, I almost whistled there. Um, to tuck through the pelvis. It might give you a little bit larger range of motion. Now take that tilt into your reverse curl. It might be almost not even there. Like it should initiate uh, as the pelvic tilt and maybe your hips lift just an inch. Neutral, push, neutral. This is a great way to not throw away these reps. Let's go a little faster up. Up. So I'm gonna try to keep my legs straight as long as I can. Once those quads take over and they're close, then I'm gonna micro bend the knees. So right about there, all I'm feeling is quad. So I'm gonna bend the knees just a little bit. Keep it going up. Now we're gonna take this reverse curl to a little leg dart. So it looks like this. Reverse curl through 90 degrees, 
one leg drops back through 90. Extend the legs to reverse curl, other leg. Send it low, through. So let's do a few slow and with one leg. What I really want you to feel as that leg lowers is the scoop here through the pelvis. Let's go a little bit faster. Reach, scoop, reach. It's a little bit of leg choreography too, which is fun. Try not to overextend through the hip flexors or to over contract. Few more. Down, up, through. Let's do one more. And you know we're gonna take this to a double leg dart, right? So reverse curl, dart the legs. Let's do a few slow. Reverse curl, extend, curl, extend. Take that smaller bend through the knees if you need to. And to modify here as well, don't reach the legs all the way up. Maybe just an inch or two is all you need. Ready to speed it up a little bit? Up, out. Try to use your breath. Try to get out of those hip flexors. I'm gonna show a few modified. Up, tap to the floor. Ooh, that's almost harder, which means I wasn't probably connecting the last two with straight legs to my low abs. All right, you guys, last thing here on our back, stretch your legs to the ceiling, micro bend the knees. We're gonna do a reverse curl and twist to land on one hip. Reverse curl, twist, lift, twist. Now, with your upper body, your thoracic spine, your rib cage, I want you to feel so heavy and so relaxed into the floor. Close your eyes if that helps you mentally connect with your low abs. You can go slower or faster than me. I'm trying to drill my toes into the ceiling, create a nice little swivelly hole up there. Good, let's do 10 more. 10, nine, we're almost at the end. Eight, seven, we're gonna finish in a little plank. Four more, four, three, oh, I'm starting to lose that connection. Two, one, roll up and immediately flip it over. I'm gonna face this way because I don't want you to see my mic pack. And we're gonna come down to the forearms. Hold into a nice little plank to start. Tuck the pelvis again. Look at that, we have a theme. Little pelvic tilt, release. Little pelvic tilt. Now normally I would feel my glutes here and not my low abs, but here I definitely feel them. Hold a little bit of the tilt. We're gonna start to walk the legs. So I'm gonna go in with the right, in with the left, out with the right, out with the left, in, in, out, out. Now it's easy to arch the back. Look at the video. Try not to do that. There's no connection through the abs. So scoop and tuck, little micro steps in. Let's switch legs. So start with the left foot. In, in, out, out, in, in. Every time you're stepping your foot in, you're tucking and scooping through the pelvis. Let's do two more. In, in. Now you're gonna wanna drop your knees, don't do it. In, in, ready to hold, stay. Last little grand finale here. We're doing 20 little pelvic tilts. Two, three, stay with me. Four, it can be so small that I don't even see it if I were to peek through that camera into your house. Under, here's 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, stay out of your butt, 16, 17, use your abs, 18, 19, 20, and release. Okay, really quick, just push your hips forward and lengthen. Good job. I hope you enjoyed that. Press all the way up. Lower abs are something that you have to train consistently, and I would really suggest anyone and everybody do some lower ab training because it's an integral, integral part of your whole abdominal unit, and we often just really hone in on like these first top four of your rectus abdominis, and this is just, a little, little out of the game. So put on this video every day, a few times a week, your hip flexors are gonna start to chill out. You're gonna feel less back pain because we come out of this arch position that we're always in and we lengthen and strengthen. Thanks so much for doing this workout. Have a wonderful day. If you like workouts like this, please subscribe, like the videos you like, comment because I have new videos coming out all the time and I really appreciate your feedback. Okay, see you next time.